So for those of you who are in toxic relationships and you need to break it off, because toxic relationships, as I shared in one of my earlier videos, will hinder you. It's you understanding that you can't help a person out of the pit if you're in the pit with them. You have to be able to extend your arm, reach out, pull them up. You can't do that if you're in the pit with them. So getting out of toxic relationships, here are four things that I want you to kind of lay hold to and focus on. Number one is this, cut off all communication with this person. If you have children, I know it's going to be difficult, but minimize your conversation to only things to deal with that child. If you need help doing that, have a friend go along with you and say, hey, listen, just keep me on task to help minimize anything that doesn't deal with our child. You may need assistance with that because your emotional reaction may be just to go right into that toxic experience that they're trying to pull you down into. So recognize that you want to minimize all conversation only to your child and that experience that they're having and what you guys need to discuss. Focus on that until you get used to only talking about those things where you feel comfortable that you don't feel you have to bring someone in. A lot of times we just need enough air to breathe and to see exactly what this person has been doing, this toxic behavior that's pulling you back down. Number two, number two is I need you to take time to heal. I need you to realize that you need time away from this person as long as you can. If you don't have any children, then go away. Change your routine. Change your number. Block them on all social media. Uh, don't try to follow them. Resist the urge to look into what they're doing. All of that brings you back into that toxic experience. Remember, you cannot heal this person. You have to focus on you, and that means taking time for yourself to heal. Okay, how do I do that, Jimmy? Number three, segue into number three. Pick hobbies, experiences that you used to enjoy. What did you like to do before you started dating this person, going out with this person, married with this person? Uh, let's pick those back up. Did you have any type of passions, any hobbies? Let's, if, if it's dancing, if it's skating, if it's working out, if it's spending time with your family, whatever it is, go back to those things that brought you a sense of joy and fulfillment. The way you can do this is just list 10 things that you love to do, okay? 10 things you enjoy to do or 10 things you wanted to do that you never got an opportunity to do, but you always thought about it. Maybe you thought about running a marathon. Maybe you thought about, that may be extreme, <laughs> but maybe not for some people, right? Maybe you thought about running a marathon, half marathon, doing something physical, right? Uh, taking a dance class, learning tango, le whatever it is, getting out of the rut of sitting at the house thinking about this person, do a hobby, join some type of group. Facebook groups have plethora of things you can do. Uh, if you want to find something, find it in your Facebook group. I mean, and they have things locally you can do. I encourage you to, again, pick up that hobby. Uh, last but not least, number four, I want you to work on yourself. This is important, guys before getting into another relationship. The toxic experiences you experience, believe it or not, they're gonna be a part of you. And you wanna kinda of wean yourself from as much toxic behavior as possible. Your partner may have created various emotional triggers within you that you were not aware of, but now you're aware. Heal yourself, focus on you. What were some things that you were doing that you recognized that was not part of your character that you don't want to practice again? Focus on that. Keep things out of your life that remind you of the toxic person or relationship. Focus on your healing, your self-growth, your development, processing that, neg those negative emotional experiences as they come up recognizing them, identifying them by asking yourself, why am I feeling this way? So you can get a better understanding of you. So you should be able to identify triggers you have, mm -hmm. emotional gaps you have, so that when you go into this relationship, you aware the new relationship, you're aware of some misgivings that you had. So you can be conscious of them yourself. Okay. If you need counseling, coaching, book the 15 minute 
link in this YouTube video or wherever platform you're watching on to book a free consult with me. 15 minutes free. We kind of go over where you're at and talk about that situation. Uh, also, if you want to actually book a session with me, you can do that through my website and through my uh, CRM as well. Guys, if you need access to learning material, I have online courses. I have a three-day communication intensive that I work with every month. It's a group intensive. You can join, pay, join in on that three-day communication intensive. You can purchase my book, which is the Jimmy Rules. You can follow me on my YouTube channel, or social media channels, all those things to get more information, insight into how you can navigate these things in your relationship. Be glad to help you out. We'll talk soon.